Hello everyone, once again, welcome to SEP 2000 video tutorial. In this video, we are gonna define the load cases. In the previous video, we have defined load patterns. So in this video, we are going to talk about the load cases. To do that, we are going to define menu bar. So from define, we are going to load cases. And from here, we have defined this load types, I mean load patterns in the previous video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the load case type. So what is load case type? So load case is how we are going to apply the loads on the structure. So as you can see here, dead load is linear static. So we have to have the concept of linearity and static or non-static or dynamic. So if we are going to discuss about a little bit ahead, we are going to modify our show load case button. So from here we can see that it's load case name dead load and the load case type here is the main thing. So it is a static type load. So from here we can see different type of case type. So we are going to discuss about this case type. So for the dead load, we will select the static load analysis type linear. So this things depends on the structure. So we must know the behavior of the structure. After that, we have model load case type. So if you want to go to modify from here, we can see the model case type. We have selected this model and we have eigenvector so the type of models is eigenvector we can also select the these vectors and we can select the number of modes as much as we want like how many axes we want if we want just only one axis like x axis then you can select here two so like this we can select the number of modes so in this case i'm going to select as it is so 12 and the stiffness to is zero initial conditions unstressed state we have defined live load case so if we're gonna click on modify button so here we can see that it is also a static case type and it is also linear so we're gonna leave that so now we have eq which is earthquake load so we are gonna modify this load case from here we can see that it is earthquake load so it is not a static load it must be response spectrum so we will select here response spectrum and then we have some more information we have to define here the model combination so we have different type of model combination we have complete quadratic combination we have a square root of the sum of this square we have absolute sum we have a general model combination we have 10 percent we have double sum so we can select any one of those so maybe i can select a square root sum of the squares and we have also directional combination which also SRSS can be selected. So I'm going to select standard, which is acceleration loading. So we are going to discuss about the acceleration, not displacement. So if you want to check displacement, then you can select displacement. So in this video, I'm going to select acceleration as it is an acceleration loading. And from this side, we have mesh source. So it is previous mesh source. So we can define the mesh source from the defined toolbar and from mesh source. We have eccentricity ratio is zero. So from loads applied, we are going to select acceleration. We have selected here and load name E1, which is the in the X direction. And we have function. So we have defined this RS response spectrum in the load patterns video. From there, we have defined the RS function and is called factor one. And then we can select add. So it has been added. And after that, we have model damping ratio. So we can modify our show from here and we are going to apply the damping ratio constant throughout the structure so it is constant damping for all modes and the percentage of damping ratio is five percent and we are going to click ok after that also ok so our eq has been added here so for wind load we are also going to modify from here we have wind load which also can be static and we have also snow load which also linear static from here so in this way we can select load cases and after that we also can add a new load case from here so from here we can rename the load case so suppose i'm going to add a new load case which is time history so time history the load case type will be time history and from here analysis type will be linear solution type model and history type transient and load pattern is acceleration in the u1 direction we have function default function and we'll click on add so it has been added time step data i'm gonna let these things as it is cause we have a video on time story so we can check that video 
after that we can click on okay so in this way we can define the locations from load patterns so i hope this video helps a lot i will see you in the next video